hello everyone welcome back once again as you can see uh, we have a web service ready and the method that we would like to consume is also ready and uh, to test this web service uh, i have created a angular application which is out of the scope of this particular video but just to give an overview this has a button and on click of which uh, a service would be called which resides under main controller so this is the service uh, this is the function that we call and this is where we would be calling our service and the service name is this one and the method would be this one okay <clears throat> so it calls the service and parses the data in the form of json and it then displays the data in the tabular format in the front end so that's what this uh, little application would do now that we have given the service name let's save and see if that works So we have encountered an error. It says no access control allow origin header is present on. So what this basically is saying is that we haven't given permission for this particular domain to connect to our main domain which is designs.com. So to solve this what we need to do is we need to give permission in the web config file which is there in the designs.com so again to save the time I have already typed this in I'll just copy it and paste it there so navigate to the service folder now that go to web config editor and paste the piece right here so here you're saying that permit access to any of the server that is trying to connect to designs.com for now I have given star which means any server can connect to this particular server it's always advisable to give your own domain here something like this ok for now I'll just give it a star and then save it we also need to give the connection string here what that does is it gives all the details that are required to connect to the database so if you go to the database and uh, if you go to connection string so this is the data that you need to enter in the web config file for uh, browse to, to browse through more details on that you can go to the admin page and then go to connections connection info so this is the connection string and this is what you need to use in your web config file okay so let's go to web config file once again
so this is the connection string that we would be giving server name would be localhost as you were able to see here database is designs underscore underscore ms user id is admin ms which is same as uid of course you would have the password for that particular user okay so then just apply and save it 